up against Wale Roba. And Nick Fawoshe is the main event of the evening. Eight rounds of boxing as a national super featherweight talent contest. And that's what's up next on your World of Champions on GoTV Boxing Night 25. Definitely looking forward to it. And of course, I'm sure the fans at home right here are also looking forward to it. Nigeria, we're looking forward to it. Africa, rest of the world, are you? You should be. It's the grand finale. Go TV Boxing Night 25. Take us back to when it all started, Ralph. Dead. And we have gotten to 25th edition. The Silver Jubilee. That's Silver what it's Jubilee. called. Of Silver Go Jubilee TV. of Go TV Boxing Night. Boxing Night. 25, that's what we're here. It's our third time around in the city of Ibadan, by the way. Yeah, this third time is, they used to say twice as nice, but this is thrice as beautiful. Thrice as, as beautiful. That's where is it. Well, I, I can tell you that um, which of the fights have stood out for you? Let me ask. So far, so good. So far. It has to be Victor Bennett, hands down. Victor Bennett up against uh, his opponent, talking about uh, uh, the man. Yeah, the younger boy, 19 year old boxer, year old. all the way from Anambra State. Interestingly, I, I have been to Anambra, uh, but what they look out for a lot more in Anambra is football. But I hope this young man uh, called Victor Bennett can bring in boxing culture to Anambra. Oh, sure. We've had uh, some illustrious uh, boxers uh, from uh, Remember Gozika Elkwelum, from Absolutely. African and uh, Commonwealth uh, Heavyweight Champion. We'll talk more about that later on. Right now, we'll get into the ring uh, for Benga Dinka, the first to bring out the boxers uh, for the main event of the evening right inside the ring let's get in ladies and gentlemen it's the seventh and final fight of the night is an eight round national super featherweight chilling bout in the blue corner wallet rubber and nifoshi Weighed in at 59 kg, Samuel Akbataroro Moses. Weighed in at 59 kilograms. Is that two fights? Lost two. Wale Rubba and Nifawashi. In the red corner, he weighed in at 59 kilograms. Is that four fights? One, one. Lost three, Samuel Akbataroro Moses. Our judges are Shei George, Tayo Olaifa, Shegu Adesoya, and our referee, 
es Latif Moïse. Though he blow the bed, though he had the right to blow, okay? Secondly, I don't want head to head, all right? Check for the first one, good luck. All systems set to go for the main event of the evening. A grudge fight. It's a battle between Lagos and Ibadan. Yes, sir. Nipo uh, Woshe from Lagos and Samuel at Pataroro, and he has four fights, 71 kilograms, and for Akpata, for Nipo Oshe, two fights, two losses, 71 kilograms, are coming into this fight for the tail of the tail, 42. Center of the ring, and let's see whether the man with the longer reach, which is Anifo Oshe, fighting in the white trunk, uh, with rubber written down his uh, trunks, uh, will be able to use that those long reach uh, reaches of his uh, to fight a very explosive fighter in Akbata. Talking about Moses Kasai. When you are called Robert, we will be seeing how elastic the man is, but he's going in there and charging like a bull against his uh, more popular opponent, Akbata Roro. And the fans are roaring here. Akbata is acting like he's booting. You know, when the computer is booting, it takes a while. And it's like, you know, rolling his, rolling his arms, saying that, you know, so even when I unleash this, but we no way to see, it. because I expect the money for Oshie to give him a good one for his money, even though he's lost twice. Well, it's Ali for Oshie that is taking the fight to the local boy, Akata Roro. Get 
to the top of it. They've still got seven more rounds to go. Six years of age, of course. Wale and is 25. Yeah, you can see the youthfulness of Nipposhi as well. Ataro is looking for that kill. He's one of those very quick, energetic boxers, but Nipposhi uh, is keeping himself calm, keeping his man at bay. He's got a longer reach and he's definitely making use of it. Nipposhi lost uh, two of the bouts and fights that he has in his professional career on December 19, 2021, he lost to Sikiru Chukbeson, for your ledger, of course, a unanimous decision it was. And um, uh, he's uh, earlier in the year, uh, in, on August the 21st, he lost to Yusuf Adeniji uh, over a by unanimous decision again. And so he's making his debut and uh, professional debut on GoTV Boxing Night with the Pardon. That is a professional debut, so two losses, but he's not fighting like um, a boxer that has uh, two losses by uh, his belt. Yeah, when you fight, when you fight Omoy, Omoy Eleja, who's, uh, we all know, uh, Go TV Boxing uh, Night fans know Siki Omoy Eleja. Uh, we still uh, saw him recently in another fight, which was not uh, on the bill of uh, Go TV Boxing Night. So it tells you a lot. And uh, to be honest, so far, so good. I, I'm giving this bout so far uh, to Anifo Roche. He's done a better job. A better job controlling this bout so far. There's a lot of movement, but it's meaningful, uh, meaningless movement coming from uh, uh, Akwataro. Indeed. Next to Lando's punches, he's got the fans all behind him, but he has not done enough. In fact, he has not done anything so far in the fight. You know, you know, you know one of those boxers who would like to intimidate you before the fight starts. Uh, but he's not matching it up with uh, all the uh, noise he has made earlier. Now he's getting more and more confident. You know, at first when when Apataroro came into the ring, round right round round, you know, the whole four corners. I mean, you could see a bit of uh, G3 uh, moments from the from Andy Pawoshi, but it does look like after two rounds, I'm gonna sort it out now. He's getting the confidence and he's thinking, you know what, I can take this guy out. You know the interesting thing about the two boxers that coming into this fight, both of them last bouts were against the same one. And it depends, he actually beat both of them. Beat the two of them by unanimous decision. Um, uh, but I wrote, he last fought and lost to Siki Richard Benson um, on December the 5th, 2021. And it was a unanimous decision for Omoye Ledger. So, and so earlier on, it was at the turn of Sikiru, Shubeso beating Anifo Wosh on December 19, 2021. 2021? Yeah, both of them had lost back to back. Shubeso wow. winning December 2021. Wow. Well, Samia Pataruru lost December the 5th, 2021. Two weeks after December 19th, and if Oshie lost, wow. That, then you gotta give Shobes on oh my Elijah, yeah, he's a national champion. No, you know him. Uh, you need to give him all kudos. Oh, and the two, two boxers right in his back to back, his back to back. The two boxers that lost to Sikiru are both doing it here tonight on Go TV Boxing Night. Well, many events. Yeah, boxers are deserving. 
Well, with what we've seen so far, that's one of the monsters talking about uh, uh, that man, uh, uh, Adebi, uh, who uh, fought earlier. And that's, uh, of course, Adebi eventually lost his uh, fight. Uh, but at the end of the day, he, mo he fought Imole, you know, and well, he took a serious body punch uh, and he had to retire. He didn't fight, he didn't fight. Uh, Ralph, don't go there again. He didn't fight. The fact gets um, even more explosive now. It does look like a Mataroro and wants to like come out. trade there. Yeah. Oh, good left hook and from Anifo Woshe. Trying to rattle a Pataroro there. But a Pataroro, you know, stands tall. He seems to be a very durable boxer, but he's not really unleashing as much as we expect him to unleash. Good, good movement, a head movement from Anifo Woshe. Robert, they call him, and he's very elastic too. Absolutely. A little one that is called Robert. Yeah, he's showing flexibility right here. And I'm, and I'm really enjoying his strategy. He knows that his opponent likes to fight on the inside. And he's not even allowing the man to go on the inside at all. You can see him there throwing the left and right combination once again to keep Apataroro at bay. Apataroro. This one right there, he sticks one right see, in. See those head movements there are causing problems for Apataroro. He jumps out, you know, dips down, dances out, and then goes on the counter. Mataroro with one win and three losses under his belt. And of course, Anifo Woshe losing, has lost uh, both fights of his uh, professional career. Two fights, two losses. Mataroro might tie himself out uh, with a uh, loss of swing. He's not that young, he's 36. What a boxing. The age when some boxers are retiring from the game, and uh, if Apata doesn't really take his time, uh, and if Oshie, you can see the smile on the face. The referee jumps in and stops uh, the stoppage. Conditioning you expecting a oh, good body punch for him there. Fans edging their man on. Bataruru. They're throwing wide punches and wide shots all over. So oh, beating up uh, was meant to be a grudge fight. I've seen some growth, but it is Anifo Woshi that has uh, done enough in the three rounds we've seen so far. They say Badam Boy would defeat the Lagos boy in this fight. They talk so much about it, but the Badam Boy yet to really give us uh, something enough to see. Shadowed eight a national a super featherweight challenge contest.
big one, but it didn't land. And they have him trying to go so forward. So much energy, like I said, but it's a case of so much motion, but no, you know, no, no achievement put through it. Badon boy that most the Badon fans have come out to see tonight. Is he doing enough? Nah, I'm not impressed. So much noise. He said uh, anyone who knows uh, Andy Fawoshe should tell him uh, not to come to a Badon because he's going to send him back to Lagos without anything. And he's not been able to come to really successfully, you know, land. Well, and it looks like he wants to come into it right now. He's beginning to find his moment. And I think that's the way he loves the fight. And those punches are beginning to connect. And then once again, he slows down and tries to ginger himself. He and missed the watch. has done well so far. Absolutely well. And it's frustrating. You can see the fans of uh, Akata Roro here. And Danny Fawoshe uh, beginning to look like he's uh, starting to wear out. And Akata Roro looking like he's beginning to find his, uh, his own rhythm. But, you know, he's got a way of uh, dancing in the ring. He does feel like he's staggering when he's dancing. I don't know. And like one who is doing the Fuji music. Well, this is the home of Fuji music as well. Sure. When you think of the uh, the late Chief Siki Aide Barista, mm. who himself was a fighter during his days in the Nigerian army. Interesting. End of another round here. Four rounds done down. We'll be seeing the fifth round. That left hook taking the wind off the sail of a pata roll yeah, and, 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 and his footwork and his body movement it's not helping him as well because he, he is he's you know lunging in and it's not stable when he's going in so if you're not stable before you throw the punches in how are you going to throw a solid and you know very well calculated calculated punch that's a good body punch he's throwing there but you can see he's up it was the target was there but he himself is not composed, so by the time he's throwing those punches, they're going wide. There you have it again. He's missing this crucial punches that could have given him the decision in this uh, fight so far. Oof. If that landed, it would have been devastating. Almost landed an uppercut. 
but then it was uh, well defended by Kataru. The fans chanting Ruru. They, sh Ruru. they shouted oh, Ruru. Oh, Ruru. But the thing is, I, I can see what Apata is doing to, to deserve this uh, chanting uh, from the fans. These are the fans from his hood. Well, but I think they're trying to, like, you know, ginger him and, and, and get him out. You know, do the job. But, but you can see the staggering. That's my problem with him. He's not staying. He's capable of doing, but he's not doing that at the moment. Yeah, he's definitely not doing it. I think he never, he never bargained for this kind of opposition from Wally Animasha. And if I wish you rather. And Robert is showing that he is very durable and flexible. See? See the way he's throwing the punches and Robert is connecting. It's looking uh, a little bit tight at the moment. Sixth round, scheduled eight. So far, uh, it's been an equal washing. Well, I wouldn't say all the way. I, 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 all the way I, I think the last round probably, um, I don't know, I think it was a bit close uh, because it started well with uh, Ororo, let me use the uh, the chanting of his uh, fans. Ororo uh, brought it in the, in the early part of uh, round five, but uh, it seemed to fizzle out at the end of it all. So what, what I think Anifo Oshie needs to do, having picked up the first three rounds by our estimation here, so what he needs to do, he's got his opening there, can he finish it up? He's got him there and he's stuck in the ring and, it, and it catches him. Great job then done by Anifo Oshie, absolutely. You have to give him quotas for that. And now he needs to manage this round. After putting up that kind of performance, all he needs to do is manage his opponent, put him at base. And his head's where nice job that was uh, through the ropes that yeah. time. But he still, he still took his head out of there and it's still going strong. I think the problem um, apart from Roro was that, you know, he was he was bopping his head, you know, left and right. And he didn't know because of his height. He didn't know when his head went in between the ropes. And uh, that really could have been a very serious moment for him there because I don't think if he got knocked down there or knocked out I don't think the referees would blame anybody for it because I mean look at the number of wide shots he's making and that's because he's not it's, he's not stable himself he needs to stabilize himself you know he's dancing around too much Just think he's gonna bring a, a thunder and lightning into the ring at Ataroo the way it goes. And, um, and, and, and Ralph, why you say thunder and lightning? Are you, are you referring to a certain African god? It's looking like Shogo. Oh, don't go. Oh, well, then. There's so much energy in him, but they are on channel. I, I, I was talking about Shogo. The energy that comes to fire, lightning, thunder, and all that. We ain't seen nothing like that yet. Nothing like that at all. Good job there coming from Andy for Very good one. And that's exactly all he needs to do. 30 seconds left on the clock. He just needs to keep, you know, sticking those jabs in. And that's what counts in, this, in the cards of the charges, you know. 
And Mataroro lunges forward. Every time he lunges forward, he drops his guard. So that's exactly where Anifo Oshie needs to capitalize on. It's a case of the underdog about to actually, you know. Coming in of this sixth round there. Uh, what, 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 what uh, if only a Mataroro could be precise with those uh, crosses that we've seen him try to uh, throw there. If it's precise, uh, if he throws it with a military precision, it would have been better off, but then he's not being precise. He's just uh, trying to launch. Nothing has done well. stand a chance in this one because he it will be a massive upset and as far as i'm concerned on the cards right now unofficially from the commentary box here and if is definitely the big brother uh, but uh, it looks like he wants to take this round but we have to see what he can offer because he seems to fizzle up when he gets towards the end of the, uh, each round and on the other hand and he forces, seems to conserve his energy and wait for the end, towards the end of the rounds. And exactly what he's doing. You notice that he's really not thrown any shots so far. And then he catches Akata right there. Akata was almost going down. With a good left hook. Absolutely fantastic left hook. And he needs to also go back to the drawing board to get um, himself conditioned for the big punches. He likes those uh, crosses that will take out a boxer. Yeah, he's got fantastic jabs, but he needs to be able to follow it up. You can, that's a big uppercut again coming from Anifo Oshie. A very good change to strategy that really caught a Pataroro there. Now he's just uh, trying to do this stick and move uh, kind of thing. And that's good enough. That's a good strategy. Absolutely. And when you're strategy. taking enough rounds in the bag, um, you need to really, really go out and fight smart. Yes, fight smart and look out for a soccer punch because when your opponent re realizes that he's trailing you on the scorecard, he's going to get desperate, he's going to come forward. And that's exactly what uh, Anifo Washington should be looking to do at this point. You can see Roro, once again, you know, trying to shuffle his feet, but he's still looking like he's not stable, he's staggering. And uh, when you go forward that way, you're most likely going to get your shot, uh, your, your punch is wrong. See again tries to you see you see he tries to shuffle there and it's not getting it right. This could be we, 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 we seem to be on course for a major, a major upset right here. And if also doing a great job fighting from the distance, not allowing a Pataroro to come on the inside. Sticks that jab in once again. Yeah, because he saw the he saw the counter coming, and he, he knew that could be dangerous. What's he doing? So many, so much movement, so much energy right there, but it's not going anywhere. Seven round of goal. And so we're going to enter the eighth and final round of this one. I was over there having a good laugh here too. Quite an interesting fight, interest for a different kind of way. Anyhow, you look at it, interesting. But you know what? I've been absolutely impressed with Adi Anifo Oshie. Anifo Oshie is 25 years old, relatively inexperienced compared to Abata Roro. But he's showing that he's got what it takes. Watch that. Watch that. And, and then 
you see him like that there through, and he was rough. Watch it again from the playground. That's a lot of lovely uppercut the there that catches his opponent off guard. And that's what matters on the scorecard of the judges. And that's what decides the fight. needs to be very careful. Akotarolo most likely might come out all guns blazing. So Adipo Roche does not need to fight, really. All he needs to do is to, to do the stick and move, and he's doing it right. You know, keep the man at distance, you know. He cannot afford to be in there. So Akotarolo will, you know, throw everything, including the kitchen sink at him. But Adipo Roche is fighting very smartly. He's doing a good job on his opponent. And then it's just moving all around. Get out of there. The get out of there. Sorry about that, Rob. Exactly. The very the punches. He needs to dance around more. Yeah. This is the eighth round. Look at that. He's got to fight under control. He's got to fight under his belt. All he needs to do is to fight by good right, a good left a jab from him that time. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Stay focused. We've seen uh, two good bouts uh, tonight uh, that will stand out of all the other bouts. Uh, those two bouts are uh, uh, Stephen Freeman and Kadima winning against uh, Michael Emery's. Uh, and the other interesting bout, the war between Olari Waji's success uh, and Victor Bennett. Those two fights uh, stand out tonight. Absolutely, but I think Kadima, in my own opinion, deserves the uh, Mujisala Ogusoya uh, best uh, uh, boxer of the night. For me, I, I'll give it to success uh, because he uh, had uh, an opening that gave it all. Yeah, I, I quite agree, but Bennett. Also, I uh, did a great job. Uh, well, I, I, I think that's where you want to give it to success. If Bennett won the fight, he would have been the fighter of the night. Absolutely. So, so Anipo Oshie needs to get out of there. And uh, I'm loving the way Akataroro is coming back for it as well. And there you have it again. I think it's the tape. Is it a tape or is that a cut or what? Okay, so it's the, it's the tape on both boxes' arms as well. And that's a good one, to be honest. It's a blessing. Look at him, he's resting on the ropes. He, he's tired because he's been, he's been, he literally laid his head on the ropes. He went to bed there. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you know sometimes you, you try and get all the, all the, all the rest you can. Uh, if they stayed longer, that guy would have gone to sleep. <laughs> Come on, Ralph. He knows what he's doing. He's just uh, trying to conserve his energy. He's so tired, but it's all the same. He's the the fans, he's but, you, but we must give it to the fans right here. I mean, they're still shouting. Even with a Mugwe kind of uh, hand on the head. Uh, the, 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 the man has disappointed. He has disappointed. And you can see now, like I always say, getting towards the end of the round, at Pataroro fizzles up. And this is the time for Anipo Oshie to unleash a few. There's 30 seconds left. What can he do to consolidate his efforts? But he needs to always dance. Dance out of the trouble. So much energy here. He looks like he's actually shadow boxing. See, look, that's what exactly you took it out of my mouth. And that was uh, what you see in shadow boxing. When you when you make that sound with your nose, and it's like you're trying to you know you're trying to think the sound of a punch. I'm not sure his corner told him that he's behind, but if they know, what is the end of the bout? That's the end of it all. What's he doing? Oh, it's part of it. Kudos to that man, Wale Adifoshe. He's bought vintage boxing uh, all the way from Lagos. To the ancient city of Ibadan, right here. I think, I think on my card, on my card, it would have been um, six, seven, uh, six rounds to one. Nah, uh, for me, I think on my card, it is uh, five rounds to three. Uh, for me, I would have given it six rounds to one. No, that would be six rounds to two. Oh, six rounds to one. That means they drew one. Uh, uh, six rounds to two. Okay. That would have been a I, I, more decision. I think I'll go for five to three. But you know what? Uh, Ralph and I. Uh, our, our own judgment or, or assessment of the fight doesn't count, does it? 
but we agree on the Redmond's decision. That's important. Yeah, I think I have to say it's a victory for Anipo Washing. For Anipo Washing. We'll be watching out. What we are saying is nonsense. Uh, what will come from the judges will be what will count. I will be waiting for the judges' decision to be announced by the ring announcer. And if we I'm not sure the fans are convinced. I mean, you, you look at the fans of that. Uh, 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 look at the fans of uh, at Aroro, and they don't seem they don't seem convinced. Yeah, they don't seem excited. They, most of them are downcast. <laughs> but we're ready with the official decision right now. Just get into the ring for the last time on Go TV Boxing Night. Ladies and gentlemen, George. Shagwa Desoya scores it 74-78. George Shehi George scores it 77-76. George Tayo Olaifa scores it 76-76. Winner by unanimous decision. for the night is going on with one million naira and the Mojisola Ogusoya Memorial Trophy. I'd like to invite into the ring to help present the head marketing, the head marketing multi-choice Nigeria, Mr. Tok.